Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? Um, this is your homeboy Seth McDonald Four. Sorry, my hair's kind of a mess. I'm gonna try to get it cut because it's been really, really hot lately. Um, I probably go to my haircut person, get it done, get it clipped off again. Um, but I want to talk to you about um, what I talked before. Uh, money is the root of all evil, no matter what, even the internet. Internet is the root of all evil. But we need money, the internet, to be able to look up things. We need money to live off of. We need the uh, internet for a resource. But it's on how we use the resource that we are provided. And that's the thing most people don't want to talk about. Is that money is the root of all evil. So is the internet. Internet is the root of all evil. But everybody uses the root of all evil. That's right. Everybody uses the root of all evil. I'm not, you know, perfect in any other way. I use the root of all evil. But, it's on how we use it. It's, you know, like what we use to, to search on. What we spend our money on. You know, most times, most people can just buy people out. You know, they, you know, they say, hey, you know, you know I would have probably been in UFC. Because there, there was these uh, two guys. Um, they, they were in suits and everything. Um, UFC was just starting out. They seen me training in Taekwondo and like really, really hardcore, like like the old way of Taekwondo training and stuff like that. They they were seeing me doing that, and I wasn't really trying to show off or anything like that. And but you know, was I stupid enough to not take it? Um, yes and no, um, but it's like I said, I made a promise to a family member, I would not, I repeat, I would not join the cage, and so I kept my promise, um, she allows me to do the training of MMA, even though she does not approve of it, but she does not want me to do the cage. But, if it weren't for her promise, I would have probably signed the contract. And I, and I would have probably been pro somewhere. Down the line. You know, you might lose one fight. You know, you might lose um, a few fights or whatever on the way. But, as the fights go along, you get better. You improve. And. And that's the thing. When it comes to. People coming up to you. You know. Wanting you to sign a contract. You know. You don't even know where they even come from. And. They, they promise you. Hey. We'll pay you. This amount of money. If we sponsor you. And. You'll be in the cage for it. Well, back then I didn't really have a whole lot of money, and my instructor knew that, and he he was like, he talked to me in his office and everything, and I was just like, you know, he's like, what's wrong? I'm like, you know, take the contract? I said, I called those guys down here, you know, to interview with you, and stuff like that and I you know I you know I have it I think you'd be good for the cage and I said you're into full contact fighting and I told him I said well I said I don't know no ground game 
And I said, if I knew some ground game, I'd be good with it. But I don't know no ground game. I said, in the MMA, you got to have ground game. You got to have wrestling. And I'm not into wrestling. It's really technically wrestling to me what it looks like. Or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, what it looks like. Um, uh, you know, if it's a guy on guy in, in the ring trying to wrestle each other on the ground, it looks like the other guy is trying to butt fuck him. That's what it reminds me of. Same thing with a woman. If a woman, two women are fighting in a cage, doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I feel like they're trying to butt fuck each other. I said, that's. What I think about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, I've tried I've tried Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out a few times, you know, I've gotten really good at it, and but I just didn't like the fact I, I'm too claustrophobic, you know, I don't like being in tight situations, and um, in a, in a small cramped area. And that's what it feels like when you're on the ground. And to me, it feels like like if you're fighting a guy on the ground, it feels like they're trying to rape you in a way. And that's what it feels like. And it's the same thing with uh, women fighting on the ground with each other. It feels like they're trying to rape each other. But I know they're not. They're doing a wrestling form. But that's how I see it. Because in our old ways of living, in the old ways, you know, in the old ways, that may look, you know, that may, they might, that might look like, you know, being gay. You know, I'm not saying Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioners are gay, but I'm just saying, you know, to a full Christian side of point of view, you might see, you know, they might think, oh yeah, you know, he practiced Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know, he must be gay because that's all he ever trains with is guys, you know, he must be gay. Well, not really. It don't really mean that you're gay or not, but it's just on how the art transitions for another another person being on top of you and it, it kind of reminds me of I want to say kind of like rough sex in a way but I know it's not because they're not naked they're in clothes they're in shorts um, they're in a gi but it's a form of wrestling it's a form of self-defense. But the thing is, um, I got offered a contract to do UFC. I wish I would have never turned it down. Um, cause it, you know, they were, they, were, they were looking for people to go on to the Ultimate Fighter, you know, series and stuff like that. And when you get into the Ultimate Fighter, fighter um, series, um, I'm telling you, uh, that's your way up to becoming a UFC fighter. You know, if you get into ultimate fighting on, on the show. Or you get to live in the house with a bunch of dudes, you know, and, and you train and then you fight and then, and so on and so on. And I know it's a show, but. That's how uh, Chuck Liddell, he runs it, but he announced it on his Instagram one time that when he was doing the show himself, that, you know, he said that that's how he promotes fighters that he, you know, think is a good fighter, and whoever wins the show can actually keep the house that they stayed in on the show, and plus, they get a contract into UFC um, cage fight.
But um, there are two guys that wanted to talk to me about, you know, hey, you know, we want you to join join the Ultimate Fighting Team. Um, you know, we have a contract for you, and, you know, we want you to sign it. And I'm like, well, my grandparents always tell me, you know, if you don't know nothing about a contract, don't sign it. Don't stay committed to a contract. So otherwise, they're signing your life away. And that's a whole other point of root of evil right there. Contracts. You know, don't indulge yourself to a contract. Don't indulge yourself to a contract. Because that's where people have you, right there. You know, some might have you for a five-year plan. Some might have you for a 12-year plan. You know, some might have you for a life plan. Um, and you got to do whatever it says in that contract. Unless if you hire a lawyer to get yourself out of a contract deal, then all I can say is um, that would be your only best option. But, it, you know, back to the beginning of the video. Since I got off track with the contract deal with the two um, sponsors, you know, for the UFC. Um, I don't even know if they really were, but they were in business suits and everything. They were trying to promote UFC in the area. And, you know, I wasn't really for it. You know, I, you know, I'm not really into the cage fighting. You know, it seemed too underground um, to me at the time. And I, and I told him, I said, well, if I can just do stand-up in it, I said, that'd be all right. I said, but if it's taking people to the ground, I can't do it. And, but, because me, I'm a stand-up fighter. But like I said, it, it's, to the point where money is the root of evil. evil. Mo money is the root of evil. Why? Why I say that? Money is the root of evil. Because people always try to find a way to buy the other person out. And they say, oh, let's say if a total stranger comes up to you and says, hey, I'll give you 10, I mean, I'll give you $10 million to make your life a better but in return you gotta do something for me I would say no because if you take that 10 million dollars from that stranger and you don't know what to the deal is that he wants you to do and, and stuff like that. To me, that's a root of evil there. And, let's, you know, if you say you want $10 million and some dude hands it to you and you say, well, okay, if I give you this, you got to do something for me. And I don't care what it is of the deal. You got to do something for me if, you get, if I give you $10 million. Well... I'd be like, well, what's the deal first? Then I'm going to take the money. But if it come down to it, I probably still wouldn't take the money because I don't even know what the deal is going to be. Um, you can call me stupid if you want, but I don't care how bad I need the money. Nobody's going to try to bribe me into a deal or not. Um, you know, because, you know, everybody can be scam owners. You know, they can say, I'm going to give you $10 million. Here it is. And I said, and I don't want nothing in return. But then later on, once you start using that $10 million, and they come up to you a week later, hey, have you used that $10 million? And, I'm gonna, and then you'll say, yeah. And then, okay, okay. And then, then all right, well, how, then a the question will come up. Well, how are you going to pay that back? See, that's in entrapment you know that's what people want you to do you know if they'll hand you money and they'll be like okay you know and they'll they'll make you think oh yeah let's let's do this 
you know, let's let's do this, you know, let's uh basically do this to um manipulate them, you know, basically, you know, give them money, you know, make 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 them wait a few days where he can't spend it. Or he won't spend it. And then when on the third day, the person will attempt to spend it. And about the fourth day, the fifth day, or whatever, that same person will probably come up to you and ask you, say, hey, have you spent the money yet? Well, me, if somebody offered me $10 million, I wouldn't take it. Because they'll tell them where that money came from. They'll tell them what the person might do to you if you do use it. You know, if it's sit, if it's just sitting there, but but like I said, you know, if I did find ten million dollars laying around, and you know, somebody lost it, you know, whatever, I'll track the rifle owner down, and I'll say, hey, you know, you lost this, and. You know, in return, and if I get a friendship out of doing a good deed, you know, by returning it, with the man that has the money, or the woman that has the money, then then that's all that counts. So really, technically, it's on how you approach it, but. When it comes to root of all evil, money is the root of all evil because people can buy people out anymore. And that's the thing. And that's what's sad. People can buy people out anymore. And same thing with the internet. Internet is the root of all evil, but everybody uses it. And 24-7 a day. And to, to me, that's sad, but that's just where, how this world is coming to. You know, back in the old days, they, uh, they didn't have, you know, they didn't have internet. You know, they did work. They played out in the yard. They made money to live off with what little they had and be able to put food on the table. You know, that's the old way of living. Most people don't even know what old way of living is. And I've been, I've been down that road before. And... All, when the internet first came out, all my other friends had the internet. I was the only one in the whole class of my class that did not have the internet when I was younger. Until I got up to my senior year, and then I had the internet because I was doing chores around the house. And I told my mom and dad, I said, hey mom, dad, if I'll do chores around the house, you know, just to be able to work and have internet. And, and that's what I told them. And I said, and that'll be my payment for my chores. That's where I have internet. And then, so I went and rent a computer some amount a month. And then, which rent a center, that's another thing of review there. You know, people that go into furniture places, they want you to, uh, you know, sign a contract, you know, for renting furniture. You know why? I know I understand I understand why you you do it, but why would you do it when you can go to like a flea market and pay like almost about everything that I have in my house. It's always been it's already been used. It's already been um used once nothing in my house is new only thing that I have new would be my TV in my room and my bed um, my bookshelf that I keep my books on um, one of my DVD racks that I had to buy um, and my trailer my, my trailer is new to me but everything that I bought is used I mean, you don't have to have, you know, a million dollar mansion. You don't have to have a million dollar car. You know, I got a used, I got a used car. I bought two used cars in my life. Both used cars, they run good. They gave me point A to point B. 
That's all that matters. You know, the only thing that I bought new were my Xbox One and my Blu ray DVD player. Those are the only two things that I bought new. Um, the Blu ray DVD player was given to me as a gift for Christmas. Um, that was brand new. And then I also bought an Xbox One one summer when I started earning a little bit of money. And most of my most of my games they're all used, but they work. So But yeah. And most of all of my movies, you know, all my movies. There might be a few of them that are new one, new new ones out that I buy, but most of them that I buy anymore, they're all used. They're all used and um Bought at flea market sales for like a dollar, um, stuff like that. But I don't really go to any of them anymore. I mean, with gas going up, with uh, and plus there ain't a lot of people there that go that likes to go there to them things anymore because all it is, so like I said, it's just it's just junk. And half time stuff don't really work. And like I said, I made this video long enough. You know, like I said, the root of all evil is money and the internet. Um, and what I think about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, that's my opinion. You know, I think, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, yeah, it is a great art of self defense. You know, if you don't know nothing about the ground, you know, if you don't know your ground game, but the way I see it, because of my Christian finale, um, all it looks like is a bunch of people trying to rape each other while they have clothes on. And, uh, and I don't really approve of that, but that's what it reminds me of. And, um, but I do watch Cage Fight on YouTube and stuff like that. And I can watch that all day long. But when it comes to doing it in person on the ground, um, that's what it feels like. I feel like, you know, you feel like you're getting ready to be raped by another man. Or, you know, if you're a woman, you know, wrestling another woman, you, you're going to feel like you're getting raped by that other person. Cause that's what it reminds me of because all it is is just controlling. It ain't. It ain't nothing like that. And, but stay tuned for the next video. Seven on four signing out. It's like I'm not talking trash about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but that's just my thought and my opinion on it. Everybody likes it. Um, I don't like I don't like wrestling that much. I never was really into it. I'm more of like you know Thai boxing um, and boxing. And karate fighting, old school karate fighting. Um, I'm not into this newer stuff like full contact karate fighting, full contact Olympic Taekwondo sparring. But, but yeah, just stay tuned um, for the next video. Submit on four signing out. I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna, uh, or I should say. Change, change out of my pajamas. I've been in my pajamas all morning. Um, I wasn't really thinking on going anywhere, but I am today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna basically go get my haircut. I'm gonna go to the bank before it closed. Get the root of all evil out of the account, and then turn around. Give me a haircut, make it look cooler. I'm tired of his hair. Seems like every time when I freaking do something, I'm like drenched with sweat because of it. And so I'm thinking about getting the buzz. I could probably do it myself, or I don't have to pay anything, but I don't want to do it myself because I don't want to end up messing my, hair, my head up. Um, 
But it's like I said, stay safe out there. Um, enjoy yourself and peace. And I'll see you in the next video. Seventh on four. Signing out, and I will see you in the next video. And plus, hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And do your research. Train hard. Train smart. And enjoy yourself while doing it. It's not a chore. It's not a job. Just do it because you love doing it. Peace.